this is a really good kid. He's got a lot of potential. Tonight, family and friends of a young teenager are mourning his death after he was gunned down in City Heights in the middle of the afternoon. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us. I'm Marcella Lee. 14 year old Enrique Medina was the youngest of four children and his parents only son. Tonight, a number of memorials are growing and vigils are being planned in his honor. CBS 8's Anna Laurel visited them today in City Heights and spoke with those who believed in Enrique's future. We're talking about a 14 year old boy, a kid. He played soccer. He was part of a boxing club. I spoke with a woman who's lived out here for 30 years. She said she tells people not to visit her in this neighborhood at night. But Enrique was shot and died on the sidewalk here behind me in the middle of the afternoon. This teenage girl told us 14 year old Enrique Medina was her best friend. Today, she put balloons where he died on this City Heights sidewalk. It happened yesterday. Police say he was walking when a group of Hispanic males came up to him and shot him. Officers say they left the scene in a light colored sedan. I just can't believe it. He was such a great kid. Lupe Castro is Enrique's soccer coach when he was younger. These are pictures of him as the goalie with their team. He was just an awesome kid. I really don't. I can't explain who would do this to him. Shocking. It's shocking. But people in the neighborhood are less shocked and they don't like what they see around them. A lot of violence going on around here. My kids are getting to that age and I'm, I don't want to see my kids walking the streets if they're going to be this hot. Two years ago, Enrique started training at the boxing gym in the neighborhood. You know, you always think about what we could have done different to, you know, um, just kind of pull him off of the path that he was traveling. His coach you know, David Ventura like says that. Enrique stopped coming to the gym in late May or early June. Sometime last month, his mom came by looking for him. Yeah, I think he was just staying out of the house a little bit longer, hanging, hanging with the homies maybe a little bit longer. We don't know what led to the shooting that killed Enrique, but we do know his short life made an impact. This is a really good kid. He's got a lot of potential, but you could tell that he, he had a really, he had a good heart. Coming up at 6, we'll hear from one of Enrique's teammates. In City Heights, this is Anna Laurel for CBS 8.